Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create an HTTP service and consume one using the Ballerina programming language. Ballerina is designed to write programs with network interactions, so we should feel right at home. And before we get started, if you haven't already installed Ballerina, please download and install it from the website. And also install the VS Code plugin that will give us syntax coloring and some sweet auto completions. Once installed, you'll be able to run BAL CLI tool from your command line. This is the Swiss Army knife of Ballerina. It'll build your programs, it'll run your programs, but it also provides a bunch of other tools that are useful. And what we are interested in right now is these package commands. Package is how you organize multiple Ballerina source files into a single working project. And let's use the BAL new command to get one created for us bal new followed by project name pick a gif is our project name let's go in there and open vs code and we can see bal tool has created a couple of files for us let's take a look at the main.bal and we can see the syntax coloring in action this is because i have already installed the ballerina plugin uh, if not, you can install it within the editor itself. Just go to the extensions and search for Ballerina. Let's go back to our main file and run it to verify everything is set up correctly. Let's open the CLI using control back tick and run it using Ballrun. All right, everything seems to be in order. And if you're familiar with C family of languages, the syntax will look very familiar. And this is by design. I think this is a good time to define what the scope is going to be for our little program. You might have already guessed by the name that we are going to design a gift registry. In this demo, we are just going to design one of the APIs in that application, which will search the iTunes API and fetch some information about albums and present it to the rest of our application in our desired JSON format. From the iTunes doc we can see the APIs we can call and sample JSONs that it will return and if you have written any integration applications you know that fetch, transform, expose is kind of a very common pattern I'll quickly curl one of these URLs and show you what it'll look like. And I'm going to change this to one of my favorite artists, The Kinks. And there's this very useful command line tool called JQ. Let's use that to format this output. All right. And from this JSON, we want to extract the collection name and the collection URL and present it in our own format. Okay, let's get back to coding. First thing we want to do is to import the standard HTTP library and create a new instance of the HTTP client. And call this variable iTunes. You may omit the type after the new keyword if it can be inferred. Let's copy paste the host from the CLI. After pasting the host, VS Code is still showing us an error. Let's take a look. Ah, okay. This is expected. As you can see, the function returns client union client error where the vertical line indicates the union, we would typically read this as client or client error. You see, it's best to think of Ballerina types as sets and values as members in those sets. So a value of a union type could be of either of those types. So we should be able to fix this by adding an error to the left hand side as well. Let's take a moment to look at what we have here. So in Ballerina, errors are typically returned, not thrown. But there's no special return type or optional type or a maybe type. We just use unions to define it in line. Okay, let's get back to handling our error. Typically with errors, you have two options. 
one is to handle it yourself like I'm doing here by printing an error message and letting the end user know or two let the caller handle it by returning it up the stack let's change the signature accordingly question mark here is syntactic sugar for union with nil if you have worked with any languages with error return values you know this if error then return pattern is very common fortunately in ballerina there's a keyword the check keyword which we can use instead and now we can get rid of this union and the whole thing looks much simpler now that we have the client let's do the http get call and instead of typing client dot get as you would expect we are going to type client arrow get you might ask why you use a separate notation when you are seemingly doing the same thing there are two reasons for this one ballerina encourages you to write code that makes network interactions transparent this is a good thing because you can't really abstract away the remote nature of a network interaction and two is the graphical view we'll look at that later and let's copy rest of the url and paste it one cool thing about this method is its return type is inferred so i'm going to assign it to a json so it will become a json again we are seeing a similar error because return type contains a union of errors so we'll handle it the same way finally let's print this json and we are ready to run our first ballerina program with network interactions let's run it and see Great, we got our output. Let's run it one more time with JQ. Let's take a look at this JSON structure and see what we need to extract from it. So it looks like we need to access an array called results. Let's try to get the value out of it. JSON is what is called the lax type in Ballerina. What that means is you can use the dot notation to access the fields even if you don't know them at compile time. The downside is you need to handle the errors and typecast them each time. So it is a best practice in Ballerina to use the lax types sparingly and use static types instead. So let's get rid of these JSONs and introduce a record type. Records are a bit like JSON, except they can be statically typed. But much like JSON, you can create them easily, compare them easily, clone them easily because it has value semantics. Now let's mimic the JSON structure inside our record. I know what you're going to say, it's going to be a tedious task. But this is where the flexible nature of the Ballerina's type system is going to help us. What we have here is called an open record. What that simply means is Ballerina type checker is going to ignore any extra values we put into this record. Since I only need the results, I'm only going to put the results field here. One thing I want to emphasize at this moment is that Ballerina is a sound type system. It is not going to pretend the incoming data is of this type and try to access it. Instead, it is going to verify and will not continue any further if there's a type mismatch. So by the time we reach this line, the results array is guaranteed to be there. So we can access it without any further checks. Let's rerun just to verify and remove the JSON sort together after that. Okay, we were able to print just the array. Let's replace this JSON with a, another type. Again, we are going to use an open record because then we only have to specify the things we need. We need the album name and the album URL. Let me click those from the JSON. And now we should be able to access the value without any casts or checks because the structure is already checked. Okay. That worked. Before going any further, let's 
convert this whole thing into a service of our own. VS Code pretty much wrote it for us, so we just have to put the base path and the resource name, which is going to be albums because we are going to return albums. And we can go for a query parameter or a path parameter for artist name. I'm going to go with query parameter because it feels better for our use case. Let's move all of our code here and then we no longer need the main. Let's have the same return type as our main as well. Since this is now a service, it doesn't make sense to print the value. We should return it instead and change the return type as well to match it. Let's get rid of the unused IO module. On the left hand side, I'm going to run our first Ballerina service. And on the right hand side, I'm going to use curl to invoke it. We are running on port 8080, and our base path is picker git, and our resource path is albums. Finally, let's add the query parameter, even though we are not using it right now and presto we got our answer back now let's fix that query parameter i'm going to do a bit of a refactoring uh, this line is already too long so i'm going to refactor this into a function while i'm doing the refactoring let me talk a little bit about ballerina concurrency model and some of you might already look at this and say aren't we blocking on line 15 don't we need callbacks or threads the answer is no, because Ballerina uses a lightweight threading model called strands. So even though the strand is blocking, the OS thread is free to pick up the next one. Our next step is to make this service return an array of albums instead of just the first one. So for that, I'm going to introduce yet another type. But this time, I'm going to use a closed record. Because in interface design, it's a good rule of thumb to be liberal about what you accept but to be conservative about what you produce. Now, let's use the query expression to transform the search item array into an album array. For each search item in search.result, we want to have an album where the name is collection name and the URL is the collection URL. And I think that should be it. Let's run it. Let's change the artist name so we know our parameterization worked correctly. And invoke. All right, one more time with color. All right, time for celebration. So now we have done with our program. Let's take a quick look at the diagram view. Ballerina language is inspired by sequence diagrams, but by the language itself is fully fledged in its own right. The same way the diagram can be a tool on its own. What is unique about Ballerina is the ability to go back and forth between these representations. And with that, let me end this screencast. I hope you got inspired to explore Ballerina language a little bit more. Let me suggest the Ballerina by Examples page as an excellent starting ground. Thank you and goodbye everyone.